back to the Airbnb. Yeah. Check in early again. Yeah, we're lucky with these Airbnbs. It's not meant to be a check in until two o'clock, but I messaged her to say, We've just got here, can we check in earlier? And she said, Yeah, it's ready. And it's not even 11 a.m. Yeah, so we'll be straight in there. Yeah, straight in there, drop their luggage off, yeah. and then we can head to a beach. Apartment number three that we're staying in, and the views outside are amazing. We can see the sea. That's nice. And the bathroom's through there, and then there's a little kitchen area. Walking down to the beach. Bit of a rocky walk, but it's only five minutes from the Airbnb. So we're just walking past beach number one. You can carry on walking and then get to another beach, even a bit further around. Yeah, do a coastal walk. Robinson. Yeah. Logging from the beach. The rocky beach. Yeah, rocky beach, but it's we've really got our beach shoes. It's really nice. And it's we've basically found this whole cove and no one else is here apart from one guy. Lunch time, we've both got a chicken salad at the beach. We've got an olive tree <laughs> right above us. Just spiked some olives on the olive tree. So we're on a coastal walk, we've just come all the way around the bay and we know it's about a half an hour walk to the next beach and it's got these dots everywhere so all we have to do is just follow them and then so we know where we're going. jungle of olive trees and I think we've gone the wrong way. Oh yeah there's a road over there. Don't know if we're in someone's back garden. There we go. Back to the road. <laughs> Yeah, that was meant to be the way. Back on track. Back on track. <laughs> We've just spent maybe about an hour on this beach. We got there in the end. And we stayed until there's not much sun left. But now we've got a mammoth trek back to the top. <laughs> but this is the main way that people bring their paddle boards up and down. And it's not easy. You have to go under a tree that's fallen down.
So we're just walking back to walk through this beak, up that windy path, and then that building there, the first one, is where we're staying. So we couldn't be much closer to the beach, but it's quite a walk. We've done about 20,000 steps today. It's the evening and we're just walking through Havar town and it's very busy. Not as busy as Dubrovnik maybe. Um, but yeah, we're just walking around the harbour. It's quite lively tonight. Yeah. It's our first night. I've just got a souvenir. He's got a nice bracelet. 10 euros. Not bad, so, really. Yeah, it's a good deal. Yeah. We didn't try and knock him down on the price. No. Day two in Havar, and we're just off to get the boat over a, a water taxi over to an island that we'll found. Yeah, there's quite a few islands to explore, so maybe we'll do a few today. <laughs> So we've just arrived to the first island on that boat there and it turns out so 10 euros each is a round ticket to all these different islands here and there's loads isn't there? I think it might be yeah. Yeah so we can just get on back on the boat and find a different island later yeah. on. finding this beach yeah it's a nice beach i think i actually prefer rocky beaches now mm. i think it's better than sand walking around the island now yeah well said it's in the shape of a butterfly so we're just doing one of the wings at the moment yeah i don't think anyone lives on it so you can pretty much yeah. go wherever you want yeah it wasn't really a toy well no it was a proper toilet with a flush but there weren't really any walls around it it was just a a sheer sheet. Um, it's pretty basic. Yeah. But it's what you'd expect for an, for an island like this. Yeah. That was our spot. Off we go. You can hire a kayak for 10 euros an hour. Lunch with a view. We've both got a tuna salad and it came with some bread on the island. Only £8.50. Well, less because it's eight, eight euros fifty. Not bad to be on an island like this. It's the final night in Havar tonight and we're just heading out for a meal. on the island there. Sunny Sunday. We're just leaving this Airbnb now. Have a bit of a walk around town and then get the ferry to the next stop. It's just the final one. There was already a book here that I've read. Read that whole book. So many pomegranate trees. Never seen one before. This is our breakfast spot, Central Park. It's a bit of a jazz bar. Breakfast is served.
Waiting for the ferry now to split. Standing in the shade, that's way too high. So. Yeah. It is 12 o'clock now. Shall we see what the temperature is? It says it's. Party boat. Yeah, it says it's 27 degrees. Feels hotter than 27. It feels So, see you in Split. What's been your favourite part of Havar so far? The beaches. Can't beat the beaches here. They're amazing. What about you? My favourite part of Havar is definitely the beaches as well. Yeah. We went to Robinson's Beach on the first day. That was an amazing walk through the forest to get there. And then we went to some of the islands over the next days. And actually, the last day today, just walking through the town, we found some cafe, so many nice streets. Yeah. So overall, I think the bar's been my favourite place to stay. Oh really? Wow. There's places that we'd come back to here. So we do a similar holiday again. Yeah, maybe northern part of Croatia and then. Yeah. This is our ferry. Quite a big one. The luck was getting on it. <laughs> <laughs> 